If you subscribe to the channel, you'll get lots of interesting videos like this one. And if you like the video, it'll really help us out. Please comment down below for any other interesting things that also really helps us out as well. Hi, welcome to another edition of Easy Theory. So I'm going to give you two problems that I want you to work on with re regard to context-free grammars. So here are some problems that I want you to work on. So the first one is, in this case, we had a grammar that had exactly one variable in it. So what I want you to do is to find a context-free language uh, that requires uh, at least two variables for every CFG for it. So no matter what grammar you can possibly ever think of for this particular language, it must have at least two variables, no matter what. You can never get away with one. And there are examples, so I, I just want you to be able to find one. And the other one is to actually uh, make a grammar for a particular language. So I'm going to make a language right here called BAL, not PAL, like for palindromes, but this is BAL. So this is, stands for balanced parentheses. So not, not that, balanced parentheses. And this is actually really useful if you're designing a programming language because these grammars are used all the time with compilers and such to test if a particular program has balanced parentheses because if they're not balanced then we can't interpret what the meaning of the program really is. So uh, what does this mean? This means that uh, every left parentheses is matched somewhere by a uh, matching right parenthesis. But th that's not entirely everything that we would want here uh, because I, I can't just say like, okay, so maybe uh, let's do a, actually a quick example. So uh, this e example is okay because uh, this one, so the left one has to go before the right one, I should say that. So the left one matches with the right one and it comes before. This one matches with this one. And the very first one matches with the very last one. That's okay. Um, but if we have, let's say, something that looks like this, this is not okay. So uh, the left one didn't go before the right one. Even though they match, quote unquote, they uh, do not, um, uh, th th we wouldn't call this balanced. So the left one has to go before the right one, and we can have a recursive structure like this. Hint, that's what's useful to make the grammar. So uh, here, we could go as deep with more parentheses on the inside of this as we want to. And we can have any number of these concatenated with each other. So I could have, uh, oops, wrong thing. So I could have something like this over and over. And that would also be balanced because each one of these uh, opens matches with the next one, which is a close. So it doesn't have to be like this uh, has an outer left and right. It could just be something like this, too. So I want you to show that this language is also a context-free language. So hopefully that was interesting. Uh, put down your answers or proofs into the comments. And as always, I'll see you next time.